Go ahead. Shalom, family. It's your sister Jay with another segment of Country Living in the City. Well, today I wanted to show you how I store my potatoes. I harvested them a few weeks ago and they didn't get as big as I like, but when you harvest your potatoes out of the ground or in potato bags, you want to make sure you don't wash the potatoes. You're going to get the surface dirt off of it, but you're also going to leave the dirt on there because these are root uh, vegetables and they operate, they have to completely dry. Their skins are very delicate. So once I got them out the bag, I took them to my garage because I don't have a root cellar and I don't have a basement so I took them to my garage and I put them in the shade and I put them on a bed of hay my hay is organic I bought it from Walmart they have organic hay that's naturally grown and I place them in a box in the hay and keep them in a dark place you want to make sure their temperatures stay between 55 and 65 degrees you don't want them to get that much. That's why I have to get them out of the sun because the sun is blazing today. But once, I just wanted to show you, right now I have two layers underneath already. So what I do, and you don't want, when you store in the potatoes, some of my red potatoes, that's my Idaho's. My potatoes didn't get as big. That was my fault because they, they were... Uh, I didn't fertilize enough basically I should have put more fertilizer I'll talk about that later family but when you're storing the potatoes in hay like this and you want to put it in a cardboard box something that's natural paper um, or wood you can get a wooden box or a crate but you can put these in there but you don't want them to touch because if they touch they run the risk of starting to sprout and they will rot on each other now if you store these properly they can stay at least six months until the next growing season so it is august now the end of august and i'm going to store these as you see i'm putting another layer of hay by the way this bag came from walmart five dollars and it's 24 ounces of natural organic hay, no treating, just hay. And I put a whole layer on it. And then I place my potatoes. You can also do this with onions, which I'm going to do as well. And you don't, you want to dry out your onions as well before you start to store because if their skin isn't dry, they're going to start to sprout again. And then they'll rot in the whole batch. As you see, I'm placing these apart so they're not touching. Okay. There you go. So, and then to seal, seal the deal, you put another layer on top. And the way you layer, the why you layer it like that, each layer you peel back. <laughs> yeah. So, you will use the potatoes very, the, trust me, we'll go through these four layers of potatoes very easily and very quickly. Because actually I didn't plant, I lost a lot of potatoes because I didn't fertilize enough. But I'll talk about that in another video. You want to make sure that they cover it because you don't want any sunlight to get to it. And, oops, I'm just making a mess today. And then you seal it. See if I remember how to do that. Yay! And then you store it in a cool, dry place, which I'm going to put this in my garage. So that is, and these were my onions for this year. They weren't that big. I may use these for seed, but you do the same thing with onion. 
hopefully mine will grow bigger and better next year. <laughs> all right. Well, I love you, my family. That's all for now. Stay safe and healthy eating foods from the Most High. Until next time, Shalom.